Louis, good evening. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Carlos. Uh, as I told you, uh, uh, I texted you. I, I'm texting you. To... No problem. No problem. Don't worry about okay. it. Thank you. Okay, let's see, guys, who's here, who's here? Uh, Marcos. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Fine, fine. Um, a little bit stressful um, because so many things happen to me these days. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and all, all this um, sequence of things start yesterday when my father um, chased my motorcycle and when he was about to, to come back to home, to come back home, the motorcycle um break down yeah oh really yeah 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 that breaks down and you couldn't turn turn it on so yeah i have to yeah we have to go back to his work in or in our car and try try we try to to enter the motorcycle into our car and then we have to come back with the motorcycle because the motorcycle was there in in his job and now i have i have to to take the motorcycle to one workshop yeah, workshop, workshop is yeah. right. Okay, workshop at the noon. No. Yeah, at noon. At noon. Yeah. Okay, and in uh, at noon, and I let the motorcycle the workshop, and the the mechanic gave me the motorcycle at five p.m. Um, oh really? Yeah, it, and I had a one um what is this thing? Appointment? Appointment, yeah, appointment. Yeah, appointment with about dental care treatment. Dental care and they conceal just uh uh Half hour before before so, going to it was a weird day for you. Yeah, and yesterday I asked for a permission to do the job, and then I had to say that the permission that it was not necessary. Not necessary, yeah. And the secretary from that place told me that. We could leave. We could leave that appointment to Wednesday, and I showed her that 
I I couldn't ask him any more permission in my group. So yeah, it is a problem. Yeah, the the, the enterprises be that good asking a lot of permission every time. So I say I say to her that uh, just stop there and I will go to another um to another place to, to do that treatment that I have to, to do. So a lot of, of things happened to me. <laughs> it was a difficult day for you. Well yeah, but at least it, I I can resolve any problem. Yeah, at least I mean that was all then. You are here, you can relax a little bit. We will see what's up tonight. Welcome okay. to the class, Marcos. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Suleima, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Tell me. Um, I am um, tired because it's the, it's the end of the week, but I'm fine in my house and organizing <laughs> my house right now. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What? What's the plan for the weekend? Um, um, I have to go uh, tomorrow to my work, but it's not a formal uh, activity. It's, uh, I, I don't know how to say it in English, Feria de Salud. Help fair? Yeah, because uh, some uh, doctors uh, go to the uh, industrial park and give a free exams of free glasses for uh, sons and daughters uh, of the employees. Um, it's only once in a, once a year. And we have to help. Oh, yeah, you were telling me. You were telling me the other day. So you were quite busy, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, but it's the end of the day, you know. You can relax a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And don't worry, we're gonna have fun tonight. We've got a lot of activities to do. Thank you very much and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, so good. Tell me, what's new? Yeah, not, not today was easy day. So it was my short day too. So I leave early because I didn't take my lunch. I live one hour when I was uh, thinking, I guess. Now, uh, yeah. So then that's why I, I live like 2.30. I, I I thought that I will live like 2 p.m., but I have to, to make one report. So I finished at 2.30 and was really good. Okay. Yeah, and for the weekend, maybe tomorrow I have to make some uh, shopping, and then I guess that we are going to enjoy. I don't know, maybe one lunch with my wife, and then um, way back to the home. And someday maybe we're going to to our new house. Because we need to 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 check uh, how how was built and what 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 happened with the 
uh, May door because they changed May door to, until today uh, because uh, we had one temporary door. So they they made the change today. So we have to, to, to check that, yeah. Hmm. And those are my plans for the weekend. Okay, quite busy, right? Yeah, yeah. But, well, what can we do? Yeah, I have to do it. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but uh, sometimes, I mean, little things take more time than we expected, and sometimes uh, things just appear at the less expected moment, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's why this weekend I didn't make any plan to go to the beach. Yeah, so sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, but maybe the next weekend will be yeah, we'll see. We yeah. will see, we will see. But occupational hazard. Yeah. Part of it, part of it. Yeah. Uh, we, are, we are almost the same. In my case, I got, man, I got so many stuff to do here at home. Wow, you wouldn't believe it. And besides that, I have to study. And don't feel like and I have to do a homework, a big homework, and I haven't read a book. I need to read a book. So, I mean, and tomorrow I don't have time because I work almost all day long and I have classes, then I have a meeting, and I need to set up a meeting with the mayor for next week. Oof, horrible. But, you know, as you said, occupational hazards, what can we do? Yes, yes, that's right, teacher. There are a lot of things to do. Jose Wilfredo, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for us. Ana Claudia, hello, how are you? Hey, teacher, good evening. I'm doing very well, thank you. Tell me, what's new? Uh, well, today, um, I took a day off, one of my vacations days and that I'm still remaining uh, for this, not for the last year. I still have missing days to complete my vacations days, period. And they, the new ones will be active again in January the 5th. So before that day, I must take the days I left to complete the period, the previous period. And so today I made some personal errands, but in the afternoon I was uh, here at home because a uh, man came uh, today to start working in the roof issues. So we're hoping we identify four uh, areas, four different areas in the roof to work. So one was uh, completely fixed today. We're hoping if today rains later on, hopefully <laughs> there won't be leaks. That is the, the big one. <laughs> and then they will do some other jobs tomorrow and Monday. And we hope these uh, issues will be completed next week. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. See, yes. And for tomorrow, the plans, well, I'm going to start a new class um, through the Zoom platform. I was waiting for a free course that an institution is providing. It's about the communication with science, Lessa. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm, so, I, in the past, like uh, four or five years ago, I received like a mm, short course of that, but as I don't practice it at all, 
I just remember how to say my name with the things. So tomorrow I'm going to start a new course that it will be every Saturday from 2 to 5 p.m. Okay, you're gonna be busy. Yeah, busy, but hope to now, I hope now to, to um, complete at least a basic, the basic uh, stage, <laughs> at least communicate with with uh, people that they are, I don't know if it's correct to say, earless. No, because they deaf. are not less deaf or deaf? Deaf, deaf, deaf people. people. Ah, okay, deaf people. Okay, and, and believe it or not, um, no, like uh, around five or six people. And, and I feel so stuck every time I'm beside them because I always need help for my other friends that they, my, my best friend, she uh, handled that communication. Okay, yeah, yeah. Inside. It's it's a good, I mean, it's very interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I hope to learn <laughs> what is expected. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Natalia, and welcome. Very interesting. Thank you, Tisha. <laughs> thank you. Let's see who else is around. <laughs> Heidi, hello, how are you? Heidi, I cannot hear you. He's connecting the, the yeah, air. But, yeah, it's it's a little problem we are having since yesterday. Because you can hear me, but I couldn't. About now? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, hello, how are you? I was born ready, teacher. Cool, like that. <laughs> Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend besides sleeping? Besides sleeping, I'm celebrating my daughter's 20, uh, birthday, 22. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh -huh. Congrats. Yeah. So we're going to have fun a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. So you have something special prepared. Well, actually, uh, she will be on an exam from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So... Maybe we can have a, a special lunch. Man, that's a long exam. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, the, 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 the most important part is that you can share a little while with them, right? Yeah, I'm not working that's... tomorrow. You are not? That's no. cool. Oh, yeah, because you told me the other day, I remember that... It's, uh, you work every other Saturday, right? Mm-hmm, exactly. And tomorrow is your day off? Tomorrow's my day off. Okay, well, that's nice, that's nice. Excellent. So you're gonna have fun. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Welcome to the class, Heidi. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance before anything else happens. Let me check something. To check the register. Oh. I guess we are fine. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. 
Dani, Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi hmm. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Ok, guys. Well, let's continue. Eliana, hello, how are you? Tell me, what's new? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, very well, teacher. Very well. Ready for the class. Ready for the class? Yep. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? For the weekend, well, um, I will celebrate a friend's birthday. Oh, cool! Uh, yeah, with my with my closest friends, uh, we made a reservation, an Airbnb in El Boquerón. Oh, nice! Yeah, for all the weekend. So that's that's the the plan for the weekend spend some time okay. with yeah maybe cook something for um for dinner tomorrow and you know the cake and just spend a good time okay and what do you usually cook when you are like in that situation mm, meat Meat. Okay, how do you like your meat? Mm, I don't know how to say it. Carne asada? Roast beef? Roast. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, with uh, maybe some salad. But okay, what's, what's your favorite type of salad? Ensalada rusa. Oh, really? Yeah my favorite well you know finally we've got something that we both like <laughs> really you like the yeah yeah that's one of my favorites it's very delicious and healthy mm -hmm. well, i don't know if it's healthy i just like it i mean and it's weird because usually healthy food is not good for me just junky food i mean <laughs> i mean for for me almost everything must be fried I need fried food a lot. And Heidi is like, no. She's an advocate of healthy food. <laughs> Not really. I remember you telling me that you don't like that much, like hamburgers. No, or... I don't. But I like, uh, I, I, I mean, I'm not vegetarian. No, but we're, no, we are not talking about being a vegetarian. But we are talking about uh, 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 liking healthy food. In my case, you know, uh, 
whenever in my house they get on a diet or they start eating healthy food, I suffer. I do suffer. Because I mean like I hate I hate the, the, the that's that no 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 calories bread and light stuff light yogurt man that's no good for me what about you Liana do you like that like the church do you like the the, the light uh, food like light soda light yogurt for example with drinks sometimes but most of the time I drink regular Coke. Delicious. Oh, and, and you like Coke? No, no, no. Yeah. Pepsi. Pepsi. No. <laughs> the, uh, come on. Yeah. better. For me, Pepsi is, uh, I don't know. I feel that, that Pepsi is more sweet. Oh, sweeter. I feel I feel that Coke is sweeter than Pepsi. Okay. No comments. Yeah. <laughs> no comments. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, uh, to be honest, I never like never take Coke. I don't like it. Never? No. Never? Never, never, never. No, I don't like it. I'd rather drink a glass of water. You know, when if 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 the place or the restaurant uh, doesn't have Coke, I choose Pepsi. Okay, you are smart. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> you make a good choice. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Welcome, Eliana. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay, guys, well, today is Friday and we're going to cut short this conversation because we're going to have conversations, but as a, as a group, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a saying for you to check it and to discuss, okay? Now, you know, some people, uh, some people say that those who forget the past will repeat it. I need you to think about the meaning. What do you think it means? What does it mean for you? And please give me an example, okay? Set an example for me, like to clarify, to explain me the meaning of this phrase. We are going to be working in small group, three members. Okay, so you will have the chance to, to participate, all of you. You will have seven minutes for this activity. And groups are created, guys. Please jump in. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sir Alfredo. What happened? Uh, I sent you to a group. Yes, I already uh, was in the group, but I guess that Luis isn't there. Luis Orellana is right there. Wait. Hello, Luis. Uh, 
I'll send you to another group because they left you alone. Oh, there's Jose Wilfredo. No. But I think Luis cannot uh, participate. So I will send you Jose Wilfredo to another group so you can participate and Luis to another group so he can listen. Okay, okay perfect. Okay, let's see. First, I will send you to the first two group number. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, here. Here is the right group for you. Grace, I'll send you to my group as a listener. Okay. I agree with you, Mahedi. Examples. Those who forget the past will repeat it. For example. Mm -hmm. Maybe this happened maybe with lies. <laughs> Sometimes we we said lies, but most of the time these lies have consequences. Mm -hmm. so if we forget that consequences, maybe we repeat the things again. I don't know. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Teacher, we were thinking that this saying is like saying in Spanish, tropezar de nuevo con la misma piedra, isn't it? Yeah, it could be like that. Or maybe it could be that, uh, I don't know, aquel que no conoce su historia, está condenado a repetirla. Yeah, no that's conoce, the idea. That's exactly the idea. Okay. In Spanish, easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I, I'm listening to you. I, I just haven't been. Okay, Luis? Oh, he cannot participate. Oh, okay. He's just listening. So, you finish? I you got exam? You got examples? Well, for me, that happens with lies. <laughs> it can happen with lots of stuff that you seem not to have learned from the experience. Okay, yeah, when you don't learn from experience, that's exactly the idea, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. That's actually the quote. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat. Okay. And yeah, as you said, Mostly it says that you need to avoid repeating this past mistakes. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that would be like, trick me once, it's your fault, trick me twice, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to the main one. Okay. Oh, by the way, did you send me the homework? Yeah, Eliana sent me the homework. I was yep. checking. I haven't sent it, teacher. Uh-huh. I'll send, I'll send it to you later on. 
Okay. Uh, no problem, no problem. Uh, Liana, I will ch be checking on Sunday because I need to be checking everything. So okay. don't get mad if I don't answer you right away. No, don't worry, teacher. It's okay. Because I, I really want to see it and check it out mm. like with calm, with time and patience. Okay. Got okay, it. let me tell everybody that 60 seconds and we go back. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Oh, Francisco is here. Okay, let's see. Who's gonna talk to me right now? Fernando, please tell me what's the meaning of that phrase? Uh, for me, teacher, um, we had in Spanish uh, a sentence that apply in this case. Um, I will try to translate. And uh, those who don't know the history are condemned to repeat it. Actually, you know, that's... Uh, that's uh, Jorge Santayana. It's the the it's the one who did the quote, and actually the 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 proper quote is in Spanish, you know. Yeah. So oh. you are you're right. right. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and actually, it translated from Spanish into English. Let's see, guys. Huh? I don't remember having more people here a few seconds ago. Yep. I lost three. Perhaps having problems with connection. Well, let's continue. I'm sorry, guys, for that one. That's it. Now, I got another one before we go to work with the manual. Let, oh, let me tell you, we are going to continue working with the manual. Just a little short ex grammar explanation. And most of the class we're going to be having conversations okay speaking we're going to be working a lot on speaking today so let's see now okay let's imagine that you could edit your memories all of us got plenty of memories right we got good memories we got bad memories and i mean that's normal, uh, that's part of life, no? With the pass of time, we've been collecting, uh, we've been having good situations, we have had moments that we really enjoy and treasure, but also with the pass of time, there's been some that have become bad or difficult, or perhaps some of them that hurt. So if you could edit your memories, which ones would you erase and why? Which ones would you make clearer and more vivid? Tell me. That's what I want you to think and discuss a little bit. Okay? 
So let's go work in the in the rooms or with your classmates. Let's share a little bit about that. Let's see, I got promo. Where am I going to send you from? Which group? Let's see, let's see. I'll send you to group number three, Ramon. An internet internet right oh it's okay don't worry that happens sometimes so ramon uh, which uh, if you could edit your memories which ones would you erase and why do you have a, a bad memory or maybe a memory that that if you could erase Mm, re rewrite a memory. A memory, yeah. Un recuerdo. Hello. Hello. A memory. Un recuerdo. Ramon, well, he said that he. <sighs> Sorry, teacher. He has a bad connection. Okay, then you talk to me. In my case, a bad memory. Mm, yeah, I have a very bad memory that if I have the power that to erase, I do it. Maybe when my parents get divorced. Got divorced. That's one of my very bad, when they got, got divorced, sorry. Maybe. How old were you at that time? Mm, this, you know, this happened in two, like uh, two years, two, three years ago. Oh, not that yeah. long. No. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's complex. Yeah, things happen, you know. But maybe I choose that memory. And one memory that I, that, that, I, that you treasure. Mm -hmm. mm, I have a lot of memories that I maybe treasured, but maybe the last time that I that I hugged my grandma because you know I just hugged her and I gave her a kiss like see you grandma and you know then she was the last time passed. you saw her. Um, saw her the last time. No, no, no. That's that's what I meant. Uh, she passed away. Yep. That was the last time you saw her. Yep. Maybe I don't know. Just how her strong, more stronger. Yeah, yeah. It's you know. very. It's very moving, those, those type of situations. Yeah, I remember my grandma also. She was so cool, pretty cool. Yeah. And she was pretty cool with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my grandma too. She was like, oh, like there's Irene. another mom. Mm -hmm. Hello, Irene. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Irene. You are not in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Really? Yes. Because I just texted you. Did you get my message? Mm. Perhaps it's uh, another number. Anyway. Yes. Yes, I'm watching right now the message. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's just that I couldn't identify your number from the group. Okay. But the most important thing is that you're. Okay. Okay, and that Ileana is here waiting to talk to you. And I'm gone. Oh, what? No, no. Oh, well, well, hello, we already teacher. finished. <laughs> the uh -huh. are, okay, all right. Hey, hello, teacher. <laughs> you're, ready, you're ready to go. <laughs> almost, teacher, almost. Yeah, and you didn't send me your homework. But we will, you teacher. Know, <laughs> you know, Jose Wilfredo. I'm expecting Jose Wilfredo doesn't even remember which homework. Is <laughs> I was like that. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, hey teacher, come on. I have to wake up like 5 30 and then I have to, to start to I know, one I training know. section until noon. No. Midnight. I guess that is no no, is it normally is uh it's 12 a.m., right? Yeah. And yeah, and the homework, the homework was this, sorry, Fredo. Many people find that a certain sound or smell brings back a childhood memory very strongly, such as the smell of a food that your mother often cooked when you were young. Why do you think this is? What has this effect on you? Give it samples. That was the homework. But you can send it this weekend because actually I will be checking it on Sunday. Okay, perfect, okay. teacher. I will do. I will, teacher. I will, teacher. But I will. No problem. No problem. Remember, you got until the weekend. So, because I got, uh, I will be checking everything on Sunday, perhaps Sunday afternoon. Okay, perfect. Uh, teacher, do we have that information on the WhatsApp group? Uh, yes. I guess. I remove her head like this. Okay. But if you want, I can 
I can give it back to you right here, right now. Let me type it for you. No, it's better copy paste. Give me a second. I got it. Here. There you go. I'm really appreciating the teacher. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. We were thinking that your questions tonight are very profound. Philosophical. <laughs> Philosophical. Uh, you and that being profundo, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, actually, I had some that I that I decided to pass. It. Uh huh. Because they were like more like perhaps uh, stronger. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, one that is easy is like this. Uh, I had one that was like memories make the men. Mm. Yes, what do you, yes, that's right. What do you think? What do you think this means? Memory, In what? Makes Memory the makes the man. Ah, you see, you see, that's what we are exactly what we're talking about here. Yeah. That we don't want to erase any memory because all of the memories uh, makes the person who we are, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you know, I have one that I wanted to share, but uh, it's not that. I don't want to talk to anyone. That's that easy. <laughs> I mean, it's not that easy because we don't want to talk to anyone. Don't worry. It goes like this. Look, I have it here. Okay. As people grow older, sometimes the distant past is easier to remember than the near. Past. Why do you think this is? Have you ever seen examples of this? Actually, you know, people with with how do you how do you call this disease? Alzheimer. Alzheimer. Uh huh. They don't remember about recent events, but but past events. Yeah, but the problem with this. With this, I decided not to not to give it to the group because, I mean, I don't know. Perhaps it could trigger a a strong memory for some mm. people, and that happens. Yeah. And because it's very strong, I mean, if if you have had a relative like in that situation, and it can make you feel something like not that comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. So we gotta be careful. Okay, let's give six, 60 seconds to your classmates and let's go back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's focus on this. Hmm. Let's see, Eliana, tell me what were you talking about with your classmates? Tell us. Uh, I was talking with Irene. Okay. Well, Ramon has problems with his connection and at least he's not available. So Irene told me that a, a memory that she makes clear more, she makes clear and more vivid, maybe is when she she went to Guatemala with, with her family. So she really enjoyed that trip. So that's a memory that that she she treasure okay yeah. excellent and thank you yeah, tell me tell me tell me tell me and sorry and a memory that if if she has the power to maybe erase uh, is uh, when her grandma passed 
five years ago. Okay, understandable. Thank you very much. Let's see, Ana Claudia, you've been too quiet. Talk to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, eh, I was uh, having a great conversation with Danny and... Eh, oh, come on. Danny was the next one I had in mind. But, well, tell me about that. Uh, tell me about Danny, Ana Claudia. No, the funny thing... <laughs> the funny thing is that eh, we were Danny, Marcos, and me. But Danny and I, we are happy. We don't want to delete anything. And like all what we live right now is uh, so vivid, so clear. But Marcos uh, told us uh, an experience he had while he was studying uh, ninth grade, passing to high school. He had to make a one year transition in another institution because the policies and the rules for the place he was studying, they were so strict, so high. And, and, and the good thing is that he didn't, uh, he didn't, I don't know if it's correct to say overcome. He continued? Yeah. Ah, okay. No, he didn't no. overcome means that he couldn't, uh, he couldn't continue. Oh, no, in that case, uh, he, he could overcome. He, yes, he could overcome. And uh, even though he studied one year on a different institution, his goal was to go back and being graduated under the institution he was before. And he did it. He was able to, to, to make it. But, oh, that's cool. uh, but that transition side was so hard for him. So that is uh, what he was yeah, it, it was an excellent it's conversation with him it's not easy it's not easy transitions mm -hmm. are never easy oh thank you uh -huh. You're welcome. let's see let's see let's see let's see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well guys i'm sorry but uh, i was just checking my, my lesson plan and we need to move on let me get the second attendance, if you are so very kind. I will just set up everything. And right now, let me get it. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Diaz. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Danny Josue García Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Martos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Sensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Ramon. Appreciate it. 
Okay, guys. Well, to continue right now, uh, your classmate, Juan Carlos is going to talk to you guys. Juan Carlos, you ready? Teacher, not my oh, I'm sorry, Marcos, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's your turn. I, I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. Your presentation, the WhatsApp group. Yeah, give me just a second. I'll share it with everybody. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, now I'm gonna talk to you about the roof of the world. Over the Andes mountain, we find a city called La Rinconada, which is the city located at the highest level in the world with population, because we know about the Himalayas mountain. Yeah, that's the highest point in the world, but with population, is this one called La Riconada. We could highlight his beauty and in, his, in the landscape due to the snow and mountains all around. But indeed, it's not, it's not a place you would like to live in. In, the, in this place, there are violence, contamination, basic service lacking, labor exploration, and so much coal. We can also say the people who live there is uh, there is always playing lottery. Why? We will find out soon. This Peruvian city is close next to the border with Bolivia, just three kilometers away, and holds the record of being the highest city in the world. Located over 5,100 meters over the sea level. In our country, the highest place is El Pital Mountain, located at and 2,730 meters over the sea level. So this city is located almost a double pace than our highest point. Mm, taking other reference, we could talk about La Paz in Bolivia, considered as one of the highest cities and where Bolivia national team plays match and the rival, rival team almost get fine every time they play. They play. So this city is 3,600 meters over the sea level. In this city live around um, 50,000 and, and 70,000 people. And the oxy, oxygen decrease in half due to the height. And this causes some discomfort, such as insomnia, loss of appetite, and this dizziness. And the average temperature is 1.3 Celsius degrees. And the coldest month, the temperature goes down to 15 degrees below zero. This city lacks of many basic services, such as garbage collection system and potable water. To get somewhere, the people pick water from the rain and snow, but this generally is not quite good because the mercury that is used in mine production infects the water that people drink. In consequence, people develop health problems and even aggressiveness. All these problems end up in more social conflict, but despite all this, there are some services like transport and telephony and in some places, electric energy. But why do so many people live in such place? Well, this city has as a main economic activity, the meaning and the hope to become rich with the goal triggers that so many people are right to work there by several years. Thousands of miners face each day hard working days under adverse circumstances like late lacking of oxygen, inappropriate equipment and humidity. 
So always there is a risk of that. Added to all these, they don't have fixed wage. Instead, they work under a pay system called cachorreo, in which they work for free almost a month, and they have to one or two days to seek and grab all the gold they can to themselves. If they have bad luck, they will have to they will have to work a month for free. And to cover their needs, they have to borrow some money. Uh, if they have some luck, they found enough enough gold to survive until the end of the month. And if they are completely lucky, they become rich with the piece of gold they found, so they don't need to work anymore and come back to their origin place. And as it say in the beginning, these people are always playing lottery. Some cases of people who found enough piece of gold to change their financial situation, but are few. The population of the city has been increasing over the past of the year due to the increment of the gold price. But anyway, this place is not to settle down. People are just passing through. As soon as they become rich, they come back to their house. This city is not only curious because of its hate, but also because of the condition in which people live and because of the econ economic activity that takes place. Hopefully one day the precarious situation in which all these people live can be solved. That's all. Thank you very much. Just little things. Okay, you say the, the lacking, the lack of basic services. And another phrase, in consequence. In this case, you should use as a consequence. Okay. Let's see, people leave, oh, the activity, mining, mining. And they can go back to their place of origin. Ah, okay. Just those little details for the rest, very interesting, quite interesting actually. Wow, I, I, I don't like cold places. I just don't imagine visiting that city. 1.3 is the hottest, I guess they have. No, come on. Is the average. Uh-huh, no, come on. When we are in 15 degrees here or I don't know. Maybe I've yeah, been in but... city with ten, or I don't know. I'm I'm just freezing. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> one one degree is it's wow. a little bit cold. Yeah, it's a little I bit haven't cold, been in a situation with that. Weather. The problem when you get under zero is that uh, if you're working, the problem is if you're working outside. Uh, I mean, you get your 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 clothing, your protection, like, I mean, if you're on really, really cold, where do you get your long jumps, your thermals? But that city clothing. doesn't look like it's, it's up, at the end, it's like a lacking of many services. Yeah. Right? yeah, but what I mean is the clothing, the clothing you get. Mm. The problem, you know, what it's pretty uncomfortable with that type of jobs is, Give me just a second, guys, just a little second. Sorry, 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 guys, little inconvenience. Uh, well, no. As I tell you, the what it's really, really uncomfortable is if you start sweating, you know, when you're when your sweat uh freezes over on your back. Wow. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> Believe me, that's terrible. I mean, you don't know if it itches, hurts, or whatever. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Yeah, but I mean. It's a hard situation. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. Very well done, thank you. Now, guys, 
Let's see, let's see. I need to go and share with you a little something we got us here about grammar. Okay. How to punctuate adjective clauses correctly? Okay, uh, let's see. Look at, look at the examples in the box, then solve the exercises below. Let's look at the examples. It says here that non-essential relative clauses provide more information about someone or something. They are not absolutely necessary for a sentence to have meaning. Okay, this is very important. Remember, they provide more information about the person or the object, okay? But they are not completely necessary. Like this, look at the example. Dean Beckett is the editor for the New York Times. And you see, this is not needed. I mean, you can, you can say the sentence and this is not that important. Dean Beckett, who is Peter's friend, is the editor for the New York Times. Depending on the context, perhaps this is not necessary. If it's not necessary, it goes between commas. That rule also applies in Spanish. It's actually the same. Look at the second one. Mark Zuckerberg, who is my favorite entrepreneur, was born in 1984. Okay, this is a personal opinion from the person who is saying the sentence. Perhaps it's not interesting, not necessary, okay? So it's non-essential. You don't need it for the idea to be understood. And the main idea is that Mark Zuckerberg was born in 1984. That's the main idea. Our new manager who knows about true leadership is implementing a great motivational program. So if you see, when the relative clause does not provide essential information about the noun it modifies, it is necessary to use a comma at the beginning and at the end of the adjective clause. In all the speech, non-essential clauses are marked but a little pause before and at the beginning of the adjective clause. Like if I'm speaking, I say, our new manager who knows about true leadership is implementing a great motivational program. So remember what's important here is this. If you are speaking, you need to make the little pause, okay? Uh, do you know guys that uh, Fernando Gonzalez, who is your classmate in the group, uh, he works with computers, with software, okay? Uh, you know that uh, Heidi Salguero, who is a very good student, uh, is a manager in her company, you see? I mean, we're talking about management. In this case, the fact that she is a very good student is not needed. It's non-essential for that idea, okay? Is there any question, guys? Tell me, tell me, tell me, because I cannot see your faces, so tell me. No questions? Okay, let's continue. As I told you, this one is going to be fast. We have some statements here. You need to decide if the clauses are essential, if they give relevant information to understand the meaning of the whole sentence or non-essential and punctuate them accordingly. Look at the first one. Training manager who is located in UK require urgently. Professionals who are familiar with design, development, and implementation of training are to be given preference. Managers with extra certifications that have a particular emphasis on IT and sales are preferable. Okay, guys, I'll get you the sentences. I'll give you a screenshot. I'll give you like three minutes so you can 
check them out working with your classmates and the little groups more than three minutes because we need to have more conversations okay so please jump in i'm sending you the screenshot right in this moment session for example you can say can you manage the choir urgently or not so you think that is not necessary who is located yeah mm -hmm. I, I don't know what do you think training manager who is located AK required I think that it is necessary yeah. because I think because uh, this uh, who is located in UK express that is 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 uh sorry teacher un requisito requirement Required or urgent. So for me, a uh, training manager who is located in UK required urgently. Is a specific that needs to be located in UK? I think okay. that is essential. What do you think? Are you agree or, or why I'm you sorry? Think? I'm sorry guys, I was talking mute. Uh, yes, it is essential. There's no comma. Okay. Because it's actually that's an advice. That's an ad, an ad, an advertisement. Training manager who is located in UK, UK required urgently. Yeah, it's essential. Everything there. Okay. Number two. Professionals who are familiar with design development and implementation of training are to be given preference pre preference is the yeah. correct preference yeah. preference preference professionals who are familiar with design development and implementation of training are to be given preference mm -mm -mm. You think everything there is essential? Professionals. Professionals. Yeah, I think. And you are right. It's essential. Yeah. Okay. So you just need to get the punctuation of the last one. Managers with extra certifications have a particular emphasis on I finish right professional yeah teacher okay which one you got there with punctuation which one you change the punctuation the first one mm. Mm. <laughs> guys number three the number That's three. The only one, yes. The other two are correct as they are. 
Oh, really? Yeah, because in number one, it's an advertisement, it's an anuncio. Everything is necessary. Number in number two, teacher, with the comma. The comma is correct because it's uh, it's uh, numbering stuff. Mm -hmm. In number three is that you need to add two commas. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's see everybody's going back. A little tricky exercise, right? Right. Little tricky, little tricky. Check, I still got two, three persons in the breakout rooms. Let's just wait a second for them, guys. Okay. In the meanwhile, after this exercise, I guess we go back to conversation. Oh no, we have an exercise to do, but it's going to be quite simple. Okay, everybody's here. Perfect. Okay, guys, I'll make it simple because I have a bigger job for you to do. Just let me um, hold on. Let me get it. I'll show you the, the answers, okay? So you can check them out and we will discuss them a little bit. It's gonna be quite fast and quite simple. Okay. Number one, training manager who is located in the UK require urgently. Everything in this sentence is essential. Because if you say training, training manager require urgently, where? How? In some countries, you can post this type of advertisement and people is needed in another country. That happens well, in the European community, it happens a lot. Professionals who are familiar with design, development, and implementation of training are to be given preference. Okay. Professionals who are familiar with design, development, and implementation of training are to be given preference. Everything is essential because you cannot say professionals, development, and implementation or professionals are to be given preference. You need to know which type of professionals. Now, in the third case, managers with extra certifications that have a particular emphasis on IT and sales are preferable. In this case, we, why this is non-essential? Oh, because when you say extra certifications, it includes but not excludes other ones. It includes this one, but I could say something else here. And without this, still the sentence makes complete sense and transmit the idea that you need extra certifications. Now guys, our activity. This is going to be kind of a longer activity. We have done it individually but now we are going to be doing it in groups. We're gonna to go to the manual and you're going to be working the manual in page number 16, okay? Why? Because you are going to create a job description ad, okay? For a junior manager in one of the departments of your own company. That's what you are going to do, but you're going to do it in groups small groups, but I need you to do it, to write it, text it, type it, and write it, but I need to see the activity, okay? You will have 10 minutes for this activity, but let me share with you an example that is going to be helping you as a guide. 
In page number 16 on your manual, the, the instruction goes, look at the example below, create a job description and for a junior manager in one of the departments of your own company, integrate adjective clauses. Okay, look at this. Junior manager one, we require a responsible person who will be given the duty to assist senior managers working to further develop the company. A professional knowledgeable in administration is desired to be in charge of outlining the duties for each team member in our sales department. Senior managers meet frequently with our junior manager who has to present reports and other documents to discuss evaluations and employee performance. Therefore, good personal relationships are a must. For more information, call. Okay, this is the example. Okay. You need to do something like that. Remember, consist, direct to the point, a little bit of explanation. Okay. So uh, let's get into the groups, but let me recreate the groups. Let's see. Just a second. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. So first of all, we have to choose uh, the, company. The, the company, then the position that we have, we want to describe. So Marcos, mm -hmm. where do you work? Uh, um, where do I work? It's hard to describe where I work. The, what I do in my work is uh, <laughs> software. Oh, software. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mentioned that before. Mm. Uh, I know. Of work. Scripture, Mark, right? Yes, we went to do that. Um, But a junior manager in one of the departments of your own company. In our it own company. Okay, it could be other other position in your company, right, teacher? Your your mic, teacher. I'm sorry, your mic. Your mic. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, it can be any position. What I want is an app, okay? That's what I'm interested in. And if it's possible for you to use the relative clauses, the, okay? Okay. Okay, do you have any position, Irene? Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. 
Good evening. Do you understand the activity, guys? I don't listen completely. Okay. Remember that you need to do the exercise from the manual. And you can follow the example given in the manual. You need to create an ad. Vamos a crear un anuncio de una oferta de trabajo. That's what we are going to do. And that's what we are supposed to be doing right now. And the example is the one that is right now in the group, in the WhatsApp group, okay? I want you to create one like that, just one as a group. And correct and help each other in the corrections, okay? Mm. Um, it require a junior manager. The title of oh, or the or the beginning at uh, the beginning of the job description. I think we can. Or... We can start with we can start with the we we require a responsible. Uh -huh just like instead the, of responsible example. can we use a different uh, okay. organized maybe yeah. no we require, require an, <laughs> an, no, an excellent... <laughs> sorry it's fine <laughs> uh, 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 I... let's use responsible I think Yeah. We require we require mm -hmm. or we can say we require a person no 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 <laughs> we require a certificate actually it's a person that we require but... <laughs> yes. we require <laughs> <laughs> ah, how can we start? Uh, a responsible and an organized uh, person, by we require yeah. responsible and organized person. Watching the the example. Uh, the ad, if you go, uh, say that the, the responsibilities, for mm -hmm. example, in the, so we require a responsible person who will be given yes. security to a seat, mm -hmm. manner. But in this mm -hmm. case, uh, uh, is, uh, in that case, that is, in that phrase is used in the clause. Who will be giving the duty? Da, da, da. Uh, let's use a, a close. Uh -huh. Who will be in charge of? Okay, le ponemos que will be in charge of a team or what? What can we add? Or who will handle what? Uh, maybe assistant for the. For the uh, IT department, 
Ah, okay. Who will assist the IT department? Así, assist the IT department. Okay, so uh, associating the, the words that we say, we have a sentence. We require a responsible and organized person who will assist the IT department. What else? Sorry, I have to send that. <laughs> yes, the, the internet is like unstable. I'm getting the message in my... So the first sentence we have is, we require a responsible and organized person who will assist the IT department. Uh, uh, what's uh, other responsibility we can uh, put in the, in the ad? Uh, what we, we can, can add is it? Uh -huh. Yes, we need to add as much as. Mm. Uh, I think that something is missing. Who will assist the IT department? In, in the function, I don't know, in the function of oh, in the duty. Mm. No, or maybe we or, can put the location. Who will assist the IT department? Or, or, Latin, or something like that or or can or that can provide um active support to the manager i don't know to upper management to upper management uh -huh. active support in who will assist the it department uh-huh uh instead uh, that phrase in we can use that can provide active support or active um i don't know how the how the company <laughs> uh, uh, write that, that these kind of things um can tell me the um, phrase uh, i i don't yeah can. um they require a responsible and organized person will assist the IT department in upper management. Uh, yeah. In upper management. Let's invent in United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> we need to, to, I don't know. Okay, how, how do you hear this? We require a responsible and organized person who will assist the IT um okay now we we can include knowledge in office knowledge in office mm. microsoft office ah okay yeah. knowledge in office knowledge uh, or command um okay no, I didn't know a little bit. Oh, you mean knowledge? Mm -hmm. Knowledge, el, el manejo. Okay, that's knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, uh, que es, yeah. es como experto o algo similar. Sí, es como un manejo bueno. Uh, okay, knowledgeable in, in office. In office is related to, to, to office. The office package. Office package, right. Okay. Knowledge in office. Experience management team. Knowledge in office and okay. I don't know. What more, Irene? 
¿Qué nos dio falta? What, what do we offer? A professional that has who has strong knowledge. Who has, who has strong knowledge about software development. Sorry, development about software de de development. And soft um, skill to talk with client and stakeholders. Sorry, Can you, could you repeat again, please? And someone who has soft skill to talk with client and stakeholders. Soft skill with clients and stakeholders right stakeholders okay so we have this manager software developer wanted we are looking for a manager software developer who will build and implement functional projects a professional that approves new requirements for clients Oh, it sounds a professional that approves new requirements for, new requirements for clients. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to how to 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 make the transition after this. I just have the idea, or just put someone, someone who has strong knowledge about software development, mm -hmm. soft skill, and soft skills with clients and stakeholders. So soft skill to <clears throat> coordinate new requirements or new functionalities with clients. Okay, in this presentation. And, uh, but but we, could, we could say instead of someone we can say a professional. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I have activated that you can you can share a screen. Oh. If you're working on a computer sure. and you got yeah, try it please. Uh, word word teacher. Share a screen. Do you have the option? Yeah, ah, like Marcos is sharing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. So, oh, yeah, can you share your screen? Uh, or, or you're uh, not yeah. desktop? Yep. Um, the person in the position. Um, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh -huh. uh, finally, I could activate it. You can share a screen now. Oh, oh but I'm just thinking of testing my in my notebook no. oh, okay okay no i just letting you know if you were working like that that's if you're working like that it's okay, no problem oh but thank you <laughs> so for the for the next classes we know that you can now yeah. give us that option is, uh -huh. is any one of you for... typing sorry teacher is any one of you typing uh, I'm typing, but only you can the share a screen now. You can share a screen now. Uh, okay. okay. I will try. But, uh, mm. Oh, yeah. Just permitido. <laughs> 
natin ang irisalaw na. <laughs> but I have the, the, the principal ideas, teacher. Only. Okay. Una pregunta. Me acabo de, de cuestionar. ¿Cómo se lee un correo? What you mean? You check mail. For example, Fernando underscore Gonzalez arroba. At. 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 Yeah. Yeah. At. At Gmail. Oh, yeah. Okay. At gmail.com. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay, that's it. Our description. Okay, guys, I know you haven't finished. Let's see. Okay. Well, did you finish? Not really. Okay. Well, let's do something, guys. Uh, if it's possible for you, for the ones who were like writing or texting, uh, if it's possible for you to wrap it up and send it to me, you can send it to me directly or the main ideas you have. And if you can please, uh, 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 well, don't worry for the names of the members of the group because I got them right here in front of me so I can get it. So whatever you got, the info as far as you went, that's what I need because that's going to help me in order to see how can I face the, the following exercises we have like this. And to be honest with you, you will need to start working a lot with this. And uh, don't worry, Anna Claudia, I got the list. I got the list of the group. Uh, okay. The situation is this for advanced levels, you're going to be analyzing, discussing, writing. And that's why I'm pushing you from now. So when you reach that moment, you are able to apply it more. So don't worry if this time you couldn't finish. It's okay. It was a big exercise. The time allotted to it was short, but don't worry. That's part of part of the job and part of what we are doing or and part of what we are going to improve on. All of us together. So don't worry. Now, let me just do it here. Okay. Oh, 
let's talk a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, now. We know that nowadays we live in a very overpopulated world. Now, do you think that living in this overpopulated world uh, should people be free to have as many children as they want? Ooh, a tricky topic, right? What do you think, uh, Roxana? Well, this is a hard topic. And I know in my opinion, uh, China, for example, have some uh, rules in in his in that country, and I remember that he, the the family just have one kid, I guess. So um, in countries like us, we have to we need to apply some rules about that because more uh, people are more more uh, pobreza or how do you say pobreza poverty poverty yeah uh, that's the reason why i think that we need to some uh, some rules to try to organize the economy the country or whatever we don't need a lot of uh, a lot of kids so we need to organize our life and then try to or think about kids but now the country or the people are thinking about uh, kids more kids and more kids for example i have a friend that i love her but uh, she is she, she doesn't have a work uh, now a job she a job she a doesn't job, have sorry, a job a job yeah and now she she I, I remember that she's um younger than me and mm -hmm. now he she she has uh, four kids and you can imagine the real life that they try to live is hard so we need to apply some rules organize our life and then try to uh, think about kids okay so you think that just education is not enough yeah i think that we need to we need more education more sexual education and more uh, paternalistic education because now i think that uh, some people thinking about uh, have kids but they don't have uh, the knowledge and the enough knowledge about the education and the kids are the same okay perfect interesting now 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 okay now kids parents hmm, let's see danny Okay. Tell me, Danny, yeah. what are some, I'm sorry, I got another question for you. Okay. What are some expectations parents have for their children? Um, well, mm -hmm. a difficult one. I think, yeah. <laughs> um, I think in the, um, in the countries like us in the past uh, people uh, have children with uh, with a uh, hope i think that they have to work for them and help them i think i haven't the um the I don't know how to say the older brother have to work okay. the oldest to, to help the oldest the oldest brother have to work to help at the uh, 
to help support the family. Only, yeah, I think um, in country like like us, uh, it was mm, it was like this. Um, now I think mm, people uh, the parents and uh, wants to their children's. Uh, be educate, be graduate from the university and have a more life than a better life than uh, they they have they have um okay perfect thank you yeah okay Suleima hello Suleima Okay, Suleyma. Hello, Francisco. Hello, uh, teacher. Well, Francisco, I got a question for you. Okay, teacher. Tell me. What, what do you think is the most serious problem in the world nowadays? The most serious problem? Mm. Yep. <laughs> there are uh, many uh, many problems, but the most the most serious um, I think is uh, the war because okay. uh, because uh, I think the problem is uh, we uh, uh, give a uh, um, uh, much power uh, uh, to one person. Okay. In in, in this person, uh, uh, we thinking uh, uh, they uh, have a uh, uh, good decision, but the problem is the. Uh, for example, a uh, uh, president, uh, uh, how do you say declarar, teacher? Declares. Sorry, teacher? Declares. Declares. For example, the, the president declares to war to another country, uh, all responsibility, but uh, our country is in one person. Yeah, the state of war. Well, right. It, it's complex. For, uh, for for me, uh, in this moment, it is uh, the most serious problem. The the the, the, the war. Right. Okay. Yeah, I guess that in order for us to have war, if I'm not mistaken, the president can declare it, but it needs to be certified by the by Congress. I guess, but still, uh, now they sell the same thing, complex. Politics is something very complex. Very complex. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, guys, <clears throat> something that I need you to be aware of before we finish is this. Uh, if you have noticed, I have increased the level of the questions that I'm asking. And I will keep like this, I mean, if I'll throw you one or two simple ones, but the questions from now on for our conversations are, are going to be more complex. Why? Because an easy question, sometimes it has an easy answer and we go for an easy type of vocabulary. Whereas a complex question needs a difficult answer or a well thought answer. And if you notice, you are you start to, uh, looking for new and different vocabulary and that's the idea so that's the reason why the questions start being more complex i'm sorry to some of you that perhaps i couldn't ask you directly but i was passing from group to group so you can uh, so i could listen to you 
Uh, I'm sorry, Ad, I didn't talk enough time with you tonight, but I promise next class we will have a better conversation. Ada. The same goes with Ramon because of his problem with connection, Suleyma, but I will. And, and be ready. I will increase the level of vocabulary and of difficulty because we need to. We are at that level right now where I'm going to start pushing you a little bit more. So I know it's difficult, but you have made a big effort to be here. So let's make the best out of it. Guys, let me get the final attendance. Oh, and before I get the final attendance, I just wanted to remind you, uh, today is the last day of the week, last class for section one. So section one in the platform, supposedly should be finished. If you're gonna work on it, that's perfect because I'm gonna be updating my page today and tomorrow, okay? And Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Segasso Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Eh, Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. I expect to see you on Monday. Be on time. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, have the rest a of the day. Weekend. Have a good weekend. Good one. Have a good one. Eliana. Hello, teacher. <clears throat> Hello, Eliana. How are oh, you? A little bit tired, <laughs> but good. I'm a little bit tired. You don't do that. Come on. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, a few minutes ago, I drank a cup of coffee. I don't know why, but I I have a bad I don't know I don't feel good I I have a kind of stomach ache right now. Too strong for you. I think it's because it's late. Maybe my colon, you know. Uh, yeah, you're not used to drink coffee no, at this time of the night. No, at this um, time no. Usually I take one around eleven or twelve. The issue. Oh my god. Okay, I will be sure then. So you don't have, I mean, I'll give you time to, to rest. And you should drink yeah. aloe. Aloe helps a lot. Okay. Okay. I just sent you something in the... 
some chat. Some chat. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, and you to I'm, open it. Yeah. Mark it, save it. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Okay. I'm. Grammar. I know you got good vocabulary. I know you're very good at speaking. I need you to improve in grammar. Okay. And I need you to be specific. I need you to go. If you got there, it says how to make verb tenses, how to use the verb tenses basics. Okay, okay you are not going to work on that. You will go a little bit more verb explanations. Okay. Okay. That section, like regular verbs, stated verbs, and Regular verbs, gerunds, stated verbs, how gerunds, to uh, reporting okay. verbs, okay? Yeah. Let and make, make and do, used to do, will do, be used to doing, say and tell, wish, and causative verbs. That's what I want you to focus. On this level, that's what I need you to focus. Because if okay. you look down there, you got a lot more you know, stuff. Yeah. Okay. But that's what I want you why because uh, as i told i will tell you the exact same words that i told one of your classmates yesterday uh, how can i say this okay you are in the moment and in the level of learning where um, i mean yes of course you need more vocabulary everybody does all of us do. That's normal. But at this moment, you can communicate your ideas. Right? You can make yourself understood in English, and you know that. And believe me, on my so many years of experience, I get to identify that stuff. I mean, I know your level of English, and your level of English is a little bit higher. So, the the reason why I'm asking you to work a little bit more in grammar is because at this point, if you start checking on grammar and understanding the grammar, you get enough vocabulary and enough knowledge of the language as to understand the grammar, the grammar is going to open the language a little bit more for you because you are going to be more uh, specific when applying the grammar, when expressing your ideas. Remember that it's not just necessary to know how to structure a verb tense. It's very important to understand the idea behind using a verb tense. Like, uh, do you remember in the basic courses that everybody was telling you, course after course, they were telling you about the simple present tense. That simple present tense expresses facts, habits, routines, right? Then they told you that uh, continuous tense is used to express things that are situations that are happening at the moment that the expression is being said. Then they told you that it can also express a certain type of future. Right? And like that, grammar starts growing up. Now, I need you to, be, to start working on that grammar because it's going to help you. Uh, also, I need, you, I need to ask you something. Are you the type of person that, uh, like, you read manual instructions and it helps you to understand better the topic? Yep. Okay. Then, in that info that I send you, you will get the explanation and you will get an option for checking out uh, exercises. Try to do it. Okay. I know that. You keep busy, you got a lot, of, a lot of responsibilities. Don't dedicate to it more than 10 minutes, okay? Remember, because I mean, you gotta work, you got your personal stuff, you got to study. And if I mean, you got to study here in the class, you have to stay here in the class. And if on top of that, I ask you to cover like one hour studying, you're not gonna get nothing. 10, hour, 10 minutes tops from five to 10, okay? You can concentrate, understand, do a little exercise, and that's it. You did, you did the exercise, good, perfect. You have some mistakes, 
Don't worry. Do it again next, the following day. Okay? But don't overdo it. I don't want you to do more than 10 minutes per day. Because it's not going to be effective, to be honest with you. It's not going to be effective because, as I tell you, I mean, you got plenty of, of stuff to do. And perhaps, I mean, if you're a very dedicated person, perhaps you could do more time, but you don't need less. Okay? Take it slowly. You still have time to, to improve, and those little tools are going to help you. Now, start working on it. Uh, any question? No, teacher. Do you agree with the, with the plan that I'm giving to you? Yeah, completely agree. Okay. So start working on it and please let me know of your advances. Let me know if you're doing it. I'm gonna start asking you, I'm gonna do a follow-up, okay? Okay. I'm gonna do a follow-up of this, of this session. And if you got any doubt about something, an idea, a topic, screenshot, send it to me, okay? Okay, okay. So I can help you out. And remember, don't hesitate any time of the day, I can take it, okay? Okay, teacher. Again, a pleasure as usual. Have a good night. Take Thank something you. for your stomach. Take yeah. care of your tummy. <laughs> Thank Bye -bye. you, teacher. Bye, good okay. night. Same to you. Oh, thanks up.